everyone, so in this video I want to show you how to annotate with Zotero. I've had several different Zotero videos on this channel and one of the things that they've updated kind of recently is the way that you can annotate, highlight, leave comments within a PDF. So I'm in my Zotero library and I'm going to come into this PDF here to be able to do some annotation. So you can see this is kind of their new PDF viewer. You can see your PDF in here, and then you have the info that you generally have with a research article. You have tags that you have already added, or you can add tags while you're annotating as well. And then you can always add in related articles as you are annotating as well. And then up here, we have kind of different things. So we can toggle our sidebar to see different annotations and search them. We can zoom in and zoom out. You can zoom it to the page full width. So if you zoom out really far, this will bring it back to fit the page. You can go kind of down to the next page using these buttons, or you can always scroll as well. And then we have four different main annotations that we can use. We can highlight is one of the things that we can do. So if we have our highlights here, you can change the color of your highlight here. So if you're trying to theme your highlights, you can do that. Let's say we want it gray, and then we can highlight this sentence here. Another thing we can do is add in a note. So if we have a certain area, let's say we want to add a note on this chart here, we can click. This is going to add a note. It's also matching the color here. So if you want to delete this note, you can click these three dots and click delete. And so let's say we want this color to be green. We're going to select our note again, and we're going to put our note here. So we're going to say, this is an awesome thesis pathway. And you can even add tags to your notes here. So we can say like, this is steroids relevant here. And so we can click off. So now if we want to see what we wrote, we can click on our note and we'll see it there. But when we click off, we just see the note that's left there. And then the last type of annotation is where you can actually select some text. So you can like draw a box around this and select this text. And then you can add a comment to that entire text here instead of only adding a note to a random area. So we can say this is estradiol isomers, something like that. And we can add a tag to this too. So we can do steroid here and click add. And so that steroid is now added onto here. And so when you click off, it's just highlighting that area, um, unlike the note, which is just kind of a free hanging note there. And so overall, when we bring in this side pane again, now we can see all the annotations that we made. We can see that this not only was connected to a selection, but it basically took an image of the selection and put it in here as well. And then we can see our highlight up here as well. And you can see that the icons on the top left are showing a highlight, a selection with a note, and then just a note. And it's also showing the color that it is too. And you can always filter down here by saying, oh, I just want the green, or I just want gray, or I want both green and gray, or if we unselect gray, I only want those with the tag steroid. So that allows you to do all of those selections there. Then the other thing that I think is really cool with these annotations is right now all the annotations live within the PDF. But if you want to access them from this view, what you can actually do is right click on this and you can say add note from annotations. And what it does is it actually now adds in all of the annotations that we brought in. So it adds in this highlight section and tells you what page it's on. It adds in the image of the selection you took and what the note was here. And of course here it also gives you that citation. And then it adds in down here that random note that we had and what page that was on as well. So you can create these annotations as notes, which makes them really easily searchable. So you can search, if I search, estradiol isomers, you can see that that's now showing up in this annotation as well. And so it's making these searchable while also giving you a way to very quickly just see your notes without having to go in and look at what did you highlight versus what you didn't highlight. And then you can even come in here and say show annotation color. So you can see that that is a gray annotation instead of it being a separate color. And you can even add more into this note. So once you bring it in, it is now a separate note. It's not linked to those annotations it was previously linked to. 
So I can write like these are great annotations. So this one is also a good way if you want to like rewrite something in your own words, you can always add like create a selection, rewrite it in your own words, and then bring it into your annotations to make it easily findable and remembering what you're doing. If you want more Zotero tutorials, I will leave a few on the screen here. And please like this video if it was helpful and subscribe to this channel for more ways to use tech in your research. And I hope to see you in the next video.